now movement, hear me. The year was 1963, a tumultuous time as African Americans passionately marched for civil rights. One man was the bridge between African Americans and Asians. His name was Bayard Rustin. Rustin was the real deal. Power is in our ability to make things unworkable. He was the master architect and chief organizer of the 1963 March on Washington, most notably known for the I Have a Dream speech. I have a dream. Committed to civil rights and solidarity, he was an electric speaker that was shunned from the podium because he was openly gay in a highly homophobic time. Rustin was known for his civil rights work, but he was also a dedicated champion for civil rights in Asia. The significance of nonviolence is that finally, one depends upon his body and his spirit. He puts that into breach when everything else fails. Bayard Rustin learned the strategies of peaceful protest firsthand when he met Mahatma Gandhi's inner circle in the 1940s. These Indian independence leaders used nonviolent resistance to overthrow British colonialism. Rustin, along with black and Indian theologians, taught the philosophy and techniques of nonviolent civil disobedience to civil rights leaders like Dr. King. The only weapon we have is our bodies, and we need to tuck them in places so wheels don't turn. Rustin met with refugees from Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam who fled their homes because of the American War. When many Americans wanted to close their doors to refugees of war, Rustin mobilized black civil rights leaders to call for Americans to welcome them. He said, black people must recognize these people for what they are, brothers and sisters. 